Thanks, Colorado Parks and Wildlife closely tracking the spread of chronic wasting disease in our state, which impacts deer and other wildlife. We're looking into the potential risk to humans. New size Jessica Reto in our newsroom with new details. Jessica. Right now, studies show the disease has not spread to humans, though Colorado Parks and Wildlife warns hunters against eating the meat of infected animals. Chronic wasting disease was first found in Colorado in 1960 and has since spread to 23 other states. Now researchers want to know how far it spread within Colorado. Chronic wasting disease continues to ravage wildlife in Colorado. They're sick and suffering. Poor body condition, really skinny, bones showing. Um, just basically they were, they were laying there on their deathbed. Disease can occur in both species of deer, so mule deer, white-tailed deer, elk and moose. We see higher prevalence rates in deer and that's our biggest concern. Biologists want to find out where it's spreading to contain it. Colorado Parks and Wildlife has some very good biologists that work year-round in regards to chronic wasting disease, but during big game season they kind of rely on hunters that are out in the field. To test for CWD, biologists remove a lymph node sample from the animal's heads which hunters drop off. Best way to get that data collection is from hunters who harvest uh, mostly deer, bringing those deer in for sampling. Voluntary numbers have kind of dropped off, so we're making it mandatory um, fee waived um, in certain areas so we can increase that sample size to get better data. Although human health isn't at risk, hunters say Colorado's economy is. It's a multi-million dollar industry in the state of Colorado, a big money maker, and protection of the hoof animals in the state is very important. For us. The Parks and Wildlife is working towards solutions. To make sure they're around for everybody to enjoy for years to come. Parks and Wildlife will require samples from a broad range of licenses. Hunters will receive a letter in the mail with the closest location where they can drop off that sample. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Jessica Barreto, News 5.